Top 10 Unhealthiest Foods There are so many delicious foods that we enjoy. But not everything that tastes good is that good for our health. Today, the top 10 unhealthiest foods. But before, don't forget to watch the whole video and remember to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to receive more incredible content like this. Ok, now we can get started. Number 1. Sweet Potato Fries Did you know that sweet potato fries can have more calories and fat than regular french fries? There's the misconception that choosing sweet potato fries over standard french fries is way healthier. Sweet potato fries are slightly lower in carbohydrates and higher in vitamins like vitamin A. In fact, a serving of seasoned fries has 320 calories and 16 grams of fat. In comparison, a serving of sweet potato fries has 390 calories and 20 grams of fat. People will swap the fries but then end up eating even more sweet potato fries than they would of french fries. No matter which one you choose, they are both deep fried which can be harmful to your heart health and cause weight gain. Instead, it is better to bake the fries at home under your own supervision. Baked sweet potato fries are much better for the heart than fried sweet potato fries. Try to bake them with a little olive oil and seasoning for a healthier side dish and let us know how it tastes. Number 2. Soda Soda is like liquid candy. Sodas are candied calorie bombs that contribute to the obesity problem and this soda habit is also related to an increased risk of certain cancers, premature aging and hormone disruption. Most sodas contain high fructose corn syrup, where all the calories come from, food dyes, preservatives and other defective ingredients. Soda is also associated with cavities and tooth decay. Diet soda drinkers also need to worry about the impact of artificial sweeteners on their health. You should think twice the next time you'll order that Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Number 3. Shelf Stable Condiments The condiments that are kept at room temperature like single serving packets or tubes of dip, self-serve pumps of your favorite sauce, bottles of ketchup and other seasonings and salad dressings that sit out on the table at your local diner and even those little prepackaged creamers for your coffee are not very healthy, not as healthy as you think. The reason these foods can skip the refrigeration is that these condiments have been modified not to deteriorate. They have preservatives and additives such as food coloring, sweeteners, salt, bad fats and chemical agents such as dimethyl polysilosane for texture. Number 4. Swordfish and some tuna Most fish and shellfish are full of protein and are good sources of fats, as they are low in saturated fat and full of omega-3 fatty acids. Most also contain mercury, at least some amount, and some fish contain more than others. Swordfish, for example, is one of those mercury-dense varieties, like king mackerel, marlin, orange roughy, shark and tilefish. Albacore tuna, too, contains more mercury than canned light tuna, so choose wisely. High levels of mercury in the fish we eat may harm a fetus or young child's developing brain and nervous system because mercury is a neurotoxin. So be very careful, especially if you're pregnant, may become pregnant or a nursing mother and kids need to avoid it too. Number 5. Processed Meat Processed meat such as bacon, ham, hot dogs, sausages, salami and ready-to-eat deli meats can increase your risk for cardiovascular diseases as well as certain cancers. In fact, researchers from the Harvard School of Public Health discovered that people who frequently eat 50 grams of processed meat have a 42% greater risk of heart disease as well as a nearly 20% risk of developing type 2 diabetes than people who don't consume them at all. Additionally, researchers at the University of Zurich concluded that more than 3% of deaths could be prevented if we all limit our processed meat consumption to less than 20 grams per day. Number 6. Microwave Popcorn Movie theater popcorn may be bad for you because of the oils it's popped in and the butter on top, but at least making it doesn't cause popcorn lung, which is a real disease. It's also known as bronchiolitis obliterans. 
Butter-flavored microwave popcorn doesn't get its flavor from butter, it gets its flavor from chemicals and flavoring agents. Diacetyl is what most people will point the finger at when they talk about microwave popcorn's health risks. Diacetyl is a butter flavoring agent used in microwave popcorn. By the end of the 2000s, some manufacturers banned its use in popcorn bags because of its respiratory risks and separately a link to Alzheimer's disease. Still, you'll also find it giving a buttery flavor and smell to baked goods, candy and margarine. An additional concern with microwave popcorn is what's in the bag aside from the popcorn. Without all the added chemicals, the popcorn would be an okay snack, high in carbs and whole but low in fat. Still, many chemicals are coating the inside of the bag to keep the oils needed for popping from soaking through the paper, as well as chemicals to keep the bag from catching fire during the popping process. These chemicals also produce perfluoroctanoic acid, PFOA, which the EPA considers a likely carcinogen. Do you still think that popcorn is delicious? Do you want to create your own microwave popcorn and skip the chemicals? Toss popcorn kernels in a brown paper bag, double fold the top of the bag and pop as you would the processed stuff. You can also use a microwave safe bowl with a plate on top to keep kernels contained as they pop. Number 7. Bagels An average bagel has about 350 calories and that's before you add any toppings. But bagels are bad for you beyond their calorie content. Most of them are made with refined white flour which means all the proper vitamins, minerals and fiber have been processed out of them. Processed white flour foods are linked to weight gain, heart disease and type 2 diabetes. And not only do they lead to weight gain, but they make it more challenging to lose weight too. Not all bagels are unhealthy for you. It is best to choose one made with 100% whole grains. Choose a smaller mini bagel or try this trick. If you scoop out some of the soft bready interiors from the insides of the bagel, you could save as many as 100 calories. They really add up. Number 8. Stick Margarine This buttery spread has a lot of saturated fats. Saturated fats are more solid than, for example, a monounsaturated fat such as olive oil. And these fats are bad for you because they expand your waistline, raise your harmful cholesterol levels, while lowering levels of good cholesterol, increase your risk of heart disease and increase your risk of suffering a stroke. Stick margarine used to contain trans fats, also known as partially hydrogenated oils, and some brands still do. Always read the ingredient label. Trans fats are considered one of the worst, if not the worst, fat for you to eat. Number 9. Dairy If you worried about the saturated fat in dairy, you could switch to non-fat milk, but you're still not escaping a few other unhealthy things. Bovine growth hormone is a genetically engineered synthetic hormone given to cows to boost their milk production, and it's controversial because it may introduce health risks not only to the cows, but to humans consuming those dairy products. And number 10. Anything deep fried? Oh, how good are fried foods, right? Deep fried foods are the weakness of many. Even First Lady Michelle Obama has confessed her love for french fries. One of the problems with eating deep fat fried foods is that cooking foods at such high temperatures may cause them to form toxic chemical compounds that we then eat. You see, too many french fries won't only increase your waistline, which they will, your side order is also linked to health problems such as stroke and an increased risk of certain cancers including breast, esophageal, head and neck, lung, pancreatic and prostate cancer. For example, men who eat fried foods, donuts, fried chicken, fried fish or french fries, once or more per week, increase their risk for prostate cancer as much as 30 to 37%. High temperature cooking, especially deep frying, also causes foods to develop AGEs, short for advanced glycation end products, and AGEs have been linked to chronic inflammation disease triggering oxidative stress. We hope you enjoyed this video. Now that you know all of this information, which of these foods will you likely not be having anymore? Well, or at least eat them less. 
let us know in the comments down below. Remember to like this video, share with all of your friends and family, and subscribe to our family. If you want to receive more amazing content like today, don't forget to turn notifications on, and we'll see you soon.